The pioneer of stem cell transplant in sub-Saharan Africa and chief medical director, Igbenedion University Teaching Hospital Okada, Professor Godwin Bazwaye, while giving an insight into the process of the stem cell transplantation, said it is the first of its kind in the country where stem cell transplant, which usually cost over 80 million naira in Europe and the United States, was carried out at a far lower cost with all the needed equipment and procedures intact. Professor Bazwaye, who successfully performed the first stem cell transplant for the cure of sickle cell in Nigeria in 2011, expressed its resolve to retrofit and reposition IUTH to enviable heights as a center of excellence in medical tourism in Africa by providing an international stem cell transplant center for kidney, IVF, other organ transplants, an ultra-modern diagnostic and radiotherapy center with the latest technology for the total body irradiation at IUTH. Stem cell transplant is a cure for many diseases. Ibenedo University Okada and Ibenedo University Teaching Hospital. We performed a successful autologous stem cell transplantation for a patient with multiple myeloma. It is called bone marrow cancer. And currently, patient is clinically stable and well. I sincerely appreciate the gesture of His Excellency Chief Sir Dr. Gabriel Sawari Benidion for his foresight and passion to develop the health sector by establishing the Benidion University Teaching Hospital. On his part, the Vice Chancellor, Igbenedion University Okada, Professor Lawrence Izemoye, who commended Professor Bazwaye for his expertise, describes the performance as a huge medical feat and an indication of the proficiency level of IETH in IUO medical research and endeavor. It's not only a serious medical research adventure, it's also highly scientific and requires proficiency, knowledge and experience to have successfully gone through the process with patients recovery and in stable condition. It is something to announce to the public. The Chairman Medical Advisory Committee, IUTH, Dr. Agbon Ojeme, and the Director of Administration, IUTH, Michael Strauss, harped on the need for the federal and state government to collaborate with IUTH and IUO Okada to provide Africans with adequate medical care. This is the first we have done, and it's going to give way to more uh, transplant to be done in this hospital. In fact, looking at the cost of this transplant abroad, you find that it's very, it's very expensive. Only very few Nigerians can afford it. So the fact that we're able to do it at this lower cost shows that more Nigerians will be, be part of it and able to treat Nigerians for these uh, problems. It was proven that we can do it cheaper at the same world-class standards that they expect in other countries can be done here. So yeah, we are want to build as a center of excellence and we heard about the way forward, and the sooner the government can get on board, the better. Meanwhile, Reverend Father Augustine Onwa from Olu, Imo State, who had a successful stem cell transplant performed by Professor Bazwaye and a team of medical experts from IETH and IU Okada on the 30th of November 2020, after being diagnosed of cancer of the bone marrow, said he is in a stable condition. They are planning to take me to India, but that time was during the COVID-19. So, okay, let us try in Nigeria. But we are having doubt because we can't believe that such thing could happen in Nigeria and we can get somebody who is an expertise in this uh, aspect. He said, let us try. Then, you can see I'm okay. Adesua Lato reporting.